true beauty. So you guys, I'm gonna give um, everyone a chance just to kind of start to join us. I want this evening's yoga practice to be um, really laid back and really chill and very relaxed. I want to really inspire you guys this evening to just really kind of let go of the day, whatever the weather is like where you're at. Um, here where I'm at, we're actually getting like kind of a tropical rain, which I love. I love having that, I don't know, as much as I love sunny weather, I, I love palm trees and the ocean. There's just something about that tropical rain um, that is so soothing. So I have my cup of tea here. So as we're getting started, you guys, hi guys, welcome to our weekly posture here with Guy. I'm in, of course, me and Heather, True Beauty Movement. And if you can't tell you guys, I'm in a really chill mood this week. You guys have seen me for a while now. Sometimes I'm totally just enthused and, you know, high energy. And other times I'm totally just in my zen mode. And um, I definitely have been feeling in that kind of ebbing back mode lately. So I wanted to hopefully have that inspire you, especially some of the things that are going on right now with the moon and the cosmos. You might be feeling the same way. But everyone's a little different, right, based on um, their astrological sign and um, different things that are going on in their life. So I have some nice soothing music. Weirdly enough, it's actually called After the Rain, which is kind of crazy. It's not raining quite yet, but I think it's gonna to start to come back. We had some sprinkles here. Um, so you guys, I wanna share um, something just briefly here. Last week I actually canceled um, our weekly posture. Guy was wonderful, and I wanted to say thank you to everyone who tunes in every week. Um, we actually had something um, a little scary happen with my daughter. Um, she's completely fine, um, but I want to say thank you for people who messaged me that were asking, you know, where is the posture of the week? Because um, it means a lot to me, and we needed to make sure that we were taking care of our family and making sure that our daughter was okay. So if you want to learn more about that, I know my true beauties are wondering. I know that... Um, you know, some of our guy and followers are wondering. I will be posting more about that um, on my blog later on this week. I don't want to go into all those details right now, um, but like I said, everything's A-OK. -okay. So we're extremely, extremely grateful. Um, and I think that's really part of what inspired today's Posture of the Week. Um, I've had a lot of you guys mention and kind of make different requests about back pain and neck pain. And um, I've made note of it before, and we've touched on back pain in a lot of these classes that I've been teaching you guys each week. And we haven't really touched on neck pain. And this is so funny. I'm not even gonna go into details, but last night I hurt my neck literally looking at our baby monitor. Do not ask me how this happened. It's the weirdest thing ever. I was like bending my knees, doing some weird stance, trying to make sure she was safe on the baby monitor. And I woke up with um, a hurt neck at like three and four in the morning. So that was not fun. So I thought, you know what, let's use this as authentic inspiration. I'm gonna teach you guys um, about three different yoga postures for neck pain. Um, I also want this to inspire you, if you're somebody who works at a desk or anything like that, or um, nowadays, you guys, even if you are like me where you work from home and you maybe don't have you know, the nine to five or something like that, you know, with social media, you guys, and texting, there have been so many people talking about and tweeting and Instagramming and, you know, putting on message boards and going to doctors um, and chiropractors and yoga teachers like myself um, because of neck pain and because of back pain. And a lot of it is because of poor posture. And believe it or not, it's because when we're texting, I'm going to put my tea down here, put it on my little coaster. So when, it, when we're texting, oftentimes we don't even realize it and we're not texting like this as much as that would be great, right? We're kind of more doing something like this and kind of crouch down and so we're actually hurting our neck long term. So I want tonight's weekly yoga posture in partnership with Gaim to really inspire you not only to have a little bit better posture when you're on social media when you're texting, maybe like sit up a little bit straighter right now, okay? Um, but I also want you guys to be thinking about just, um, you know, different things that are affecting your neck. So if you are somebody who struggles with back pain, neck pain, um, really any joint issues whatsoever, you guys can use a, um, a peppermint essential oil. So peppermint essential oils are wonderful. I actually have some on right now. I did this before I started filming, just about three drops on my wrist, and then up here on the upper neck area, and then all down through the shoulders. And you can also place on the temples, just remember, peppermint can make the, the eyes tear a little bit, so you wanna stay back up here in the, in the hairline, okay? That's gonna be really important. And that's gonna be really good for any neck tension, head tension, um, if you're prone to headaches or anything like that, it's going to give you that instant gratification. So that's gonna be the essential oil I wanna feature this week. 
Um, and as far as um, the chakra goes, okay, so remember the body is a map, right? So I'll teach you guys a lot more depth on the chakras because it's a huge passion of mine. And when I teach yoga, I teach really yoga for chakra balance in addition to manifesting and things like that. Um, those are both huge passions of mine. Um, so I chose this yoga mat, and hoping you guys can see it okay, this lavender mat. Hi guys, I'm seeing all these wonderful waves. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. So this beautiful mat, you guys, is one of my new Gaia mats. I'm beyond grateful. You guys know I've been getting a bunch of good stuff from them. This whole outfit, by the way, is Gaia, these cool pants, right? So my husband's making us like a homemade chicken noodle soup right now as I'm filming this. And I made my tea, and we're kind of in like a soothing, take care of our family mode right now, which has been really needed and very nice. Uh, so just FYI, both of these are Gaian.com, the shirt and the pants. You guys know you get 20% off through me um, using Heather20. I also want to let you guys know that the mat is Gaian, and this mat, oh, I love this mat. Um, this mat just speaks to me on so many levels. If you can see these, you know, shapes in the center, it follows the colors of the rainbow, so of course this is the different chakras, right? So I thought this was the perfect mat to feature tonight because we're talking about the spine and we're talking about um, the neck, you know, in particular, which has to do with kind of these upper kind of blue and turquoise chakras, which is our um, sense of communication. So just like I'm communicating with you guys all, all the true beauties on this camera and all the guy on peeps on this camera. And um, our, our throat chakra, you guys, if you struggle with any neck pain, anything in this area, the front or the back, okay, pain or if you feel like you maybe are somebody who doesn't talk enough, you're really shy and you feel uncomfortable, or if you feel like you're, you're maybe talk too much and you're creating balance, um, it could be something with your throat chakra. If you hurt yourself, there could be something there as well, right? So I'm just talking on like a lot deeper level than just physical stuff, okay? Um, and so you want to dig a little deeper when it comes to chakras. And this is where you can use your peppermint oil and, you know, rub it on the front and back of the neck. Um, if you rub it on the front of the neck, it has the benefit of boosting the metabolism, which is great. Um, but it's really, really good to assess what's going on when you're dealing with the neck. Because this has to do with our communication. This has to do with our sense of how we express ourselves. Um, and if we're expressing ourselves you know, in an authentic way, right? If we're letting our soul come through when we're expressing ourselves. So I want you guys to also be thinking not just like verbal words, like the way I'm talking to you. I want you to be thinking of, you know, I, the first thing I think of is like painting, you know, like if you are a photographer or a painter or writer, or um, maybe you love interior design, or maybe you love, you know, fashion or, you know, whatever it is for you, how you express yourself creatively it does not always have to be traditional words. Um, it could be, it could be how you talk or how you write, but it's really how you express yourself. And of course, I think we all know we're looking to align, you know, our fulfillment with kind of our career path. That's sort of the ideal. So you're getting paid to do what, you, what your calling is and what your passion is. That's kind of the journey of life, right? And you're sometimes filled over here, but you got to pay the bills over here, or you're getting it close together. There's always this inner compass, but it's really important to listen to that and, you know, make sure that you are expressing yourself in a authentic and creative way. Does that make sense, you guys? So when I go into these three postures, I'm going to be really focusing on some of these um, upper chakras here that represent the throat chakra, okay? And then before we jump in, you guys, I want to um, make sure I give you guys our beautiful positive affirmation. So I know we're having more people join us. So remember, so these three postures, you can watch this from the beginning, you guys. I think it'll speak to you for those who are just joining us because um, I opened up a little bit more on, on a little bit deeper level. But basically, we want to use peppermint oil for any neck tension, back tension, specifically here in the neck area. Um, and we want to be focusing and looking a little deeper if you have a neck injury on those throat and neck chakras, right? And how we're expressing ourselves creatively and um, being authentic in how we do that, whether, whatever your fulfillment um, or your art form is, you know, making sure that you're practicing that so you feel very seen, right? And very authentic. So the um, positive affirmation, you guys, um, you know, it's funny, I was gonna do something else and I meditated on it and I was like, that wasn't supposed to be it. So the one that came to me for you guys is, um, and I think it's beautiful, it actually was something that was told to me when I was getting um, certified as a yoga teacher. And what it is, is I speak my truth, I live my truth, truth be with me. 
So throat chakra, I speak my truth, I live my truth, truth be with me. So I want you to really just kind of let that come in again, let like the music absorb you a little bit and just let yourself just chill. Let yourself slow down. Let yourself take this time to ebb back and reassess some things in your life and really just make sure you're on the right path, okay? So I really hope that inspires you guys this week. Um, so what we're gonna do, you guys, is I'm gonna, again, I usually do one posture, but these are gonna kind of flow together, okay? Oh, we got some like rocking music going on over here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. All right, so Hopeful Pieces is the song. Um, so I wanna kind of keep it yin tonight, some yin yoga, some relaxing yoga. Um, so here, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a strap. And I am using a Gaiam strap. I love this gray one. Um, it matches my outfit, and I love fashion style and all that. So, of course, when I ordered these through Gaiam, I was like, I have to have all my stuff match and be cute. Like, yeah, be a, a chic yogi. Um, so what you can do is if you, depending on your flexibility here in the shoulders and the arms, um, this is beautiful just to take a strap. And you guys, you can really take anything that feels comfortable for you. But I love yoga straps because they're so versatile. And you can just reach behind you, and we're going to start to move forward. You're going to hold the belly button to the spine, so we're engaging the core, okay? And we're going to start to move forward this way, and what we want to start to do is bring our neck all the way down. Now, I'm going to show you without a strap. That's a little bit more beginner. So if you want to do without a strap a little bit more of an intermediate, we're going to take the opposite elbow, so like this, okay? And if you want to be a little bit more advanced, this is where you can do something like a you know, prayer, or I love to intertwine my fingers here. I feel a little stronger when I intertwine my fingers here. So whatever works here, you can start with the opposite elbow. I'm gonna go ahead and go right into advance, which is the um, hands intertwining here. And we're just going to bow forward. So here's the key, listen to your body, but we're going to slowly, remember if you have neck tension, like I had a little bit of neck tension here. I'm dealing with some neck stuff. I've been doing this all day. So we're gonna to start to bring the belly button more to the spine, let the head kind of hang out. And this is where you wanna really test yourself. If you actually have like a trauma to the neck, like a car accident or you really hurt yourself, you're gonna to want to bring your weight forward and just kind of slowly move. And you guys, earlier this morning, I couldn't even move this far. It hurt so bad. I've been doing this all day just to kind of help and open up the muscles. So you can start to go a little bit deeper and start to move the chin outward, or if that's too much, just simply hang out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly take the arms by our side. You can kind of do like a whoosh motion, and we're going to do a little mini downward dog. It's not going to be full on. So Adho Bukha Savasana, it's a little mini knee version, okay? So I want, it's not about stretching out the whole body here, you guys. This is more about focusing on the neck, right? So we don't need to stretch the whole body out. We want to keep everything on, on the um, throat chakra focus. So here, okay, make sure you guys can see me okay. I'm gonna bring my left hand to the center. I like to place it right on one of the chakras here. So this is the green chakra, the connecting to the heart space. And this is where the next gonna be really important. I'm not looking up at you guys because I wanna focus on my, you know, focus here so I'm balanced and I don't wanna strain my neck. But if you really have a neck issue, okay, and you have a trauma or something that happened like I had happen last night, you can just find your focus here just see on the floor. Then, if you want, you can bring your arm up, and depending on how you feel, you can also look all the way up at the sky, but again, don't push it if you're, if you're hurt, okay? So I'm obviously gonna avoid that tonight. And this is why, you guys, you want to listen to your body in yoga. So even though I tend to have a lot of my postures a little bit more advanced, just because I'm a teacher, I've you know, been practicing for years and years, um, my body, my body, body's telling me, don't do that today, right? So you gotta listen to that. Don't, don't ever push it. You listen to what your body needs each day. That's so important. So now we're gonna do the opposite side. Really simple here. Hand to the center, lifting, and just this side a little bit more tight on my end. All right. So then what we're going to do is slowly bring our hands. So the pinkies are as wide as the mat, and I want you just to bring the chin towards the sternum. And just exhale, sink into the shoulders. Find your breath. And you guys, just so you know, I'm using complete isometric movement. These pants are so cool because they're kind of flowy. But my whole legs are being activated here. So this is a workout. I'm working out my belly as well. So this isn't just like, oh, like my whole body, I start to get, you know, a little sweat on as I'm doing this and you're burning calories. 
as you're stretching, okay? Working the body, creating isometric movement. So now what we're gonna do is just come onto the knee area and we're gonna move into a cat. So a traditional cat posture, what we wanna do, just bring my shirt down a little. Oh, again, we have a little bit more. Okay, we're just like rock it a little bit too. Um, light burst, that sounds great. So here, this is where I wanna focus on the throat chakra, okay, on my mat. I like that because it's giving me an intention to really focus on the chakra where there's the neck pain or whatever's going on. And that's just because, you know, it works with this mat, you guys. You guys can always just visualize that as well, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is just tilt the tailbone, chin to the sternum. And then if your neck's really hurt, like mine was earlier today, I'm kind of just going back to neutral spine. So neutral spine's table, okay, or tabletop. And then you're going back, tilt the tailbone, chin to the sternum. If you want, if you're feeling really good, you can move right to a cow, but just don't overly press up if your neck is hurt. So we're kind of lifting the bottom up, we're lifting the chin slightly. Again, I'm not going to overdo it because my neck is hurt a little bit. Chin to the sternum. And here, this is where you can kind of do a little self-massage. Just kind of move the head back and forth. And you guys, the key here is really about feeling good, okay? So it's not about getting this crazy sweat sesh on. This is about making sure that you really and truly, let me grab my bolster. Um, you know, just that you really feel good and, and taking care of yourself. Let me grab my, my tea as well. Um, and you know, that's something I'm really passionate about. Um, you know, is I think that we all just kind of overdo a little bit. And you guys know I teach kind of my, my yoga, my, uh, I call it yoga therapy with you guys. But just, I want you guys to be inspired that, you know, yoga, whether you're new or whether you've been doing it for years and you're advanced, um, or whether you're somewhere in between, right? This is something where you're, you're constantly growing. No one has all the answers. But it's one of those beautiful practices where it is like a therapy session and it's so beautiful because when you really listen to your body, I mean, you have the most incredible epiphanies, you know, about, and that's what yoga is all about. It's self-discovery, right? Um, so yoga means yoke in Sanskrit, okay? It's yoke. And that's all about peeling away the layers to get to your true self. So again, with this, with tonight's topic being really focused on that throat chakra um, and the way you express yourself creatively, let these, you know, three postures I showed you tonight really inspire you to get back to that place, to get back to that place of creativity and authenticity. And when we focus back to our breath and, you know, we let the rhythm of our breath kind of guide us on if we're happy or not, or if we're stressed or not, when we actually take the time to listen to that on a daily basis, which is ideal, um, even if it's for like five minutes, I mean, it's, it's incredible, it'll, it'll change your life. And I think you guys know I'm passionate about it, especially my True Beauty followers um, who have been following me for a while. And everything else, you know, the strength and the body and all those other things just follow because you're, you're living in alignment, but it's really a much deeper practice than just like, you know, physically fit. So I really hope this inspired you on how you can work with yoga to help with injuries, but also how you can dig a little bit deeper with the chakras and, and you know, know what might be going on if you feel like you're having pain somewhere in your body and you're not sure why that's happening. If maybe you didn't actually hurt yourself physically, sometimes you have to look a little deeper um, into the energy side of things or the chakras and see what's going on there. And it's really interesting because often when you do that, I've helped like hundreds if not thousands of clients, you know, um, with all of that by, by working with the chakras. So I hope this really inspired you guys. I'm just gonna look up here and see, I think I saw some thank yous. Let me put my tea up here. And part of the soothing, I told you guys, my husband's making like a homemade chicken noodle soup. I'm so excited. We just got like a new blue apron thing that's supposed to be like healthier or something. So we're gonna try that tonight. So you guys, I'll see you guys next Tuesday for our weekly posture. And you can see I'm like hot. I, I get hot doing all this stuff, so it's a great workout. I'm gonna probably have my chicken noodle soup, sip some wine with my husband, and then maybe take like a bath or something. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. And if I see any questions that I missed, I will do my best to um, message you directly, or of course you can reach out to me. Thanks so much, guys. Until next time, be balanced, be true, be proud to be you. See you later, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's True Beauty Quick Tip. If you like what you see and for more confidence building tips on how to be a beauty from the inside out, remember to subscribe to our channel and connect with us at truebeautymovement.com. That's T-R-U without the E, beauty movement. Love you guys. Until next time, remember, be balanced, be true, and proud to be you.